I've got another one of these door doors to set up. So come along and I'll show you how to configure it. But first, this video is brought to you by Mabel. She is one of our pretty little chickens here at Our Chicken Life. So stop by and say hello at twitch.tv Our Chicken Life. So if you've got one of these doors, they've got this instruction and it's, it's nice, it tells you, but it's kind of um, different than what you're used to because the interface is really a light and a button. That's it, that's all you get, is a light and a button to do everything on it. Doesn't have a display, and so it can kind of be a little bit difficult to, to figure out. I wanna get the configuration off of this unit so I know how to program my other unit. So I'm gonna open it up here. And again, woohoo, we got the blaster! Yay! You like the blaster? That's one of the things you can do here at Our Chicken Life. The configuration is reported to you by this little light blinking. And each blink, like for instance, a blink of one means that the daylight is of normal sensitivity. The blink, two blinks is such and such, three blinks, and what it will do is it will, it will blink a series, a number, and then pause. And that'll be one number. And then it'll blink another series of numbers, and that'll be another number for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this report the configuration to me while I write it down. To get the programming off, what we do is we, we disconnect one of the terminals on the battery and then hold down the button while connecting it. After that short bit of blinking, we just wait. And it will start to blink, and while it's blinking, I'm gonna watch. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I've got the configuration off this door. I'm gonna figure out what my next door is configured for and then we'll change any settings as needed. So let's get this one put back together. We'll reopen the door by pushing the button. We'll reopen the door by pushing the button. <laughs> there we go. And we'll close it up. So now let's go over to our next door. Okay, so same thing. We're just gonna open it up and just see what it's configured. So disconnect the battery, push the button in, Connect it, and let's see what we've got. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, nine, ten. And that's it, that's our configuration. Now I wanna compare the first door settings with this door setting. So we had a one, they both have one, they're both set to four, they both have six, nine, this one is currently set to 10, and that one's set to 11, which is the delay opening. So I wanna set the delay on this door to 40 minutes. To input the settings, you disconnect the power, hold the button down, reconnect the power. After it starts to beep, you have then a few moments to pound in the code. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then this code, I didn't do it. This is kind of where the most difficult part is, is, is getting this. Hello, did you give us an egg? I gotta look at this egg. Oh, there it is. You can come out. Here, let's move this stuff for her. Whoa, okay. That's what you get with these doors. You get beautiful eggs, because you have beautiful chickens. 
So to input our settings, what we do is we disconnect the power, hold the button down, reconnect the power, and then after it stops beanie beam, we can input it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then I punch in the delay I want. So a two. One, two and it starts to tell us back the configuration to make sure that we got it set correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, two. That lets me know I successfully updated. Now this one is programmed. That's how you configure the Adore door. Let's open this back up and close it and we're done. Thank you and stop on by at twitch.tv slash ourchickenlife. Have a wonderful day.